hi and welcome to this video in this video I'm going to show you four settings in Android Studio that are useful if you want to have cleaner code and better focus on your code the first one is typo sometimes in your code you have this underline for some of the code and it says typo so this is not a syntax error and you may get distracted sometimes by this typo the way to disable this is by going to file setting and at the top you search for typo you go to inspections and at the end you have the option for spelling and typo and you disable the setting and click OK and the underline disappears this gives you a cleaner look at your code and you don't get distracted if you get the typo and basically it's not a typo actually and Android Studio thinks that it is a typo the second setting is this divider between the functions it is very useful to know where the function starts and where it ends it helps you to find specific part of your code if you have lots of functions in your code to enable this setting you go to file settings and you search for separator under ed editor under general you click on appearance and you enable this option show method separator and when you click OK you have line dividers between your functions and this gives you a clean look of your code and you can easily spot different functions in your code the third useful setting is to format your code when you save it for example if I want to add a size box after this widget I say sized box and then I specify height for example and I give it a value and the comma now this one looks okay but if you format it the way that flutter works and flutter shows it's much easier and it is more helpful when you are looking for different options in your widgets for instance here I have another size box formatted in this way you can see the size box and then you can see the height in a separate line but this one is all in the same line and if you have many options and many components in your widget it can be a bit confusing so you can do this often by reformatting your code from this from the menu but it's much easier to do it on save so when you save your code it is formatted automatically so you go to file you go to settings and you go to languages and frameworks and you go to flutter and there is an option format code on save you enable this one and you click OK now it is formatted automatically so let's try one more time I add sized box I specify height I specify the value and I press Control S and it gets formatted automatically there is one more thing that you need to remember is that after each component after each property of your widget you need to have this comma if you don't have this comma and you press Control S and save nothing happens but if you have the comma and then you save it's going to format it for you for instance if you have multiple properties in your widget and you have multiple parentheses you have to have comma after each parentheses in this way it gets formatted nicely like this one here and the fourth setting that I want to show you is about the size of the font in your code now if you want to change the font for the code you have to go to file 
settings and then appearance and then you change it in the font and then you change it and you check if it is okay if it's not you have to come here again and change the font size and then go back and check again but in some in some softwares for example in sublime text you can change the size by holding control and using scroll of your mouse this is much easier for changing the font size so in android studio you go to file you go to settings and under editor you click on general this option says change font size or zoom with control and mouse wheel you enable this one and you hit ok now if you hold control and use your mouse wheel you can change the font size and it is much easier compared to changing the font size and then checking if it is ok and going back to the setting and change the font size again and so on so these were four useful settings that helps you to keep the code clean and more readable thanks for watching please subscribe i will see you in the next video